Now today I'm going to be showing you all of the ways or all of the signs that will be shown to you if you are getting played by a woman. So this is going to involve her maybe taking some of your time, your attention, your care, or your resources. I'm going to be showing you all of the ways and all of the signs that they'll do this from time to time without actually investing into you. So this is a very important video because a lot of men when they start talking to a woman, it's like they're hoping on a prayer, right? It's like you invest in her through text messages or through phone calls or you're getting to know her and you're hoping that it leads somewhere, right? And you wait maybe a few days or a couple weeks to see her or to potentially see her and then you start to see that this isn't going anywhere and you're wondering what went wrong. I'm going to show you why this is happening and I'm also going to show you the biggest signs that you have to watch out for in case you're getting played. Now, when today's video is over, I need you to join us inside of our movement, inside of our community. We have now crossed over 740 members, and I'm watching this thing grow every single day. The guys inside of here, their dating life is changing for the better, and I'm watching them actually turn into the men that they were called to be. So because of that, be sure to join us inside of this community. It is the only way that you'll understand, learn, and master the language of women. Okay, so these are all of the signs that you're getting played by a woman. So here's what you have to do to start this off. Okay, the first thing that you have to do is you have to understand the golden rule of female currency. Okay, what would the golden rule of female currency be, right? That means you have to understand this, right? She does not want you. She does not want to see you. She does not want to date you. Okay, this is what you have to understand, right? She does not want to see you. She does not want to date you. Okay, and she doesn't want you. All she wants is your attention. That's all she wants. She wants your attention and your validation. She wants to know that you find her hot. She wants to know that you find her attractive. So since all she really wants is to know that you find her hot, what you have to understand is that the golden rule of what women are actually wanting or the golden rule you should understand is that women want your attention. If they have your attention, they can end up eventually getting your emotional investment. The more a woman gets a man's emotional investment, the more she feels as if she's safe and if she's secure. Now, oftentimes she'll still leave that man, but she wants options of knowing that she can get a variety of men to invest in her. So here's what I can tell you. From what I've seen, and even from some of the women I've dated and I've asked them this, women even want the approval or the validation and the certainty from the men that they don't find attractive, that means even if she doesn't find you attractive, even if she would never date you, even if she does not want a relationship, even if she doesn't even look at you as an option, she still wants your validation and your certainty that you find her attractive. Okay, take this a step further. Women even want the approval and the validation and the certainty for men that they don't find attractive or for men that they have no interest in. And on top of that, they want the approval and the validation from men that they would never even respond to. So that means if you would send her a direct message, if you would text message her, if you were to try to communicate in any way, shape or form, she wants your attention, even from the men that she would not respond to. So with that said, this is what you have to understand. They want the men to notice them. That's what she wants. She wants to be noticed. She wants to say, Hey, look at me. I'm over here. Please see me. Okay. So every move that she makes, this is where you have to think a little bit deeper about this here. Like you have to almost look at the world as it is and as it was maybe even hundreds or thousands of years ago. And I know that you can't do that. You just have to take your best guess. Okay. And when you can do that, or when you can look at things at a longer distance or a longer time horizon, okay, you're going to start to see that every move she makes is rooted in her own need for your potential survival value that you bring to the table and her need for security. Say this with me one more time. Every move she makes is rooted in her own need for your potential survival value you bring to the table and her need for security. That means it's all about her. It's not about you. And if it was, I would tell you, but a lot of times they just don't care. Okay. So it's all about her. The only reason a woman stays dating you is because she feels deep down that if she's dating you or if she's in a relationship with you, she feels that it's a status increase for her by being with you. 
she feels that by her being with you either increases her popularity or her social status, which is rooted in her need, okay, for your potential survival value that you bring to the table and her desire for that security. So keep that in mind. Understand that this is why women talk to multiple men at once and end up loving social media attention so much. Because here's what you have to see. You have to see that multiple men equals more potential emotional investment. Okay, well, what does that mean? That means there's multiple security and safety net options. Now take that a step further. That means multiple security and safety net options will equal multiple men thinking that they have a chance with her. So with that said, here's what I can tell you. Women will plant seeds with a variety of dating options across a variety of men. Okay, because this helps them feel that need for security. They like backup options is what I'm trying to say at an easy to understand level. So. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the two biggest examples that shows that you're actually getting played by the woman that you're talking to. Okay. So the first example that I'm going to give you is a woman that you're trying to pursue for like a date or something like that. The second sign is going to be you seeing a woman from time to time and how this plays out. So this is the biggest example. The biggest example that you're getting played. Okay. If she talks to you digitally, but will not make any time to see you. Okay. And a lot of times her digital interest, and when I say digital, I mean text messages, comments, direct messages, anything like that. But on top of that, in real life, she virtually has no interest towards you. So here's what I can tell you. If this is happening to you where you're talking to a woman and she's responding, but she's not making time to see you, first and foremost, she has no interest. Okay, not only that, you got to understand that the phone is not real life. It's just not, I know you think it is, but it's not real life until she starts seeing you in real life. Nothing matters. Okay. So what you have to realize too, is she's using you for comfort as it increases her need for security. She desires that security. If she has it across a variety of different men wanting to see her or take her out, it makes her feel safer. Well, take that a step further. Women that do this the most is going to be the women on dating apps. And the reason why they do this the most is because they're single. Okay but they have nobody that they like enough to actually invest in, meaning that there's no man that they actually like enough to go and invest in and have a real relationship with. So instead what they do is they get random guys to digitally invest in her digitally invest in her means that if she's talking to 10 different guys and they all want to take her out on a date, she can sleep good at night knowing that she is taken care of if she decides to go out with one of those guys. So, she can now decline all 10 of those dates sleep well at night because she's been validated. So this is what you have to understand. The biggest example of this that most of you guys are going to run into if you're single is she's going to be talking to you digitally, right? But she will not make time to see you. Now take this a step further. Sign number two, the second sign. Okay. You see her occasionally. Okay and may even sleep with her. Say this with me one more time. You see her occasionally, you might even sleep with her, but she's distant with communication and hardly ever reaches out. If you've ever been in this situation before, comment below. I'm going to show you what this means. This means that you are most likely in her rotation. So women will oftentimes have a variety of men that they are seeing or a few different guys that they're seeing because they're letting things play out. And what they're really trying to do is seeing which is the highest value guy that rises to the top. So here's what that means. When she's seeing a few different guys, she's seeing which men go weak for her. If she's seeing three different guys and two of them get emotionally attached really quick, she can go, Nope, Nope. Okay. This is the one because he's the one who's developed strength characteristics. So she's seeing which men go weak for her. And what she's doing is she's filtering out the best and is unsure who to invest in. The only way that you can be a more certain option is by also being distant. I'm going to tell you this, the more you invest emotionally and the more you invest with communication, the more certainty that you give, oftentimes the less she likes you because she starts to see this as weakness. So keep this in mind. She's potentially still talking also to her ex or her ex boyfriend, right? And seeing where that goes and how it plays out. So this is what you have to understand. Just because you're seeing her in real life, just because maybe you two are sleeping together, it doesn't mean anything. Okay. 
Here's how you move. The only way to move through this is you cannot get attached and you have to understand, learn and master the language of women. This is how I've taken this community and we've now had over 740 guys come together to learn this for themselves. There are specific processes in place that I've developed and that I've been showing these guys that I can help you with. So because of that, this is the only way that you can move is you cannot get attached. So women will use men for care. They will use men for attention, money, emotional support, resources. The only thing that you can do moving forward, okay, is become the most attractive version of you. You have to level up your own status. You are going to have to level up your own strength. You are going to have to level up yourself as a man. And what this is going to do is give you an increase in status. So that way the women who end up seeing you or the women who choose to invest in you see you as a strong viable option. If you like this video, I want you to hit the like button, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.